Baby, go outside and run. Been an active morning here so far. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Molly is full of energy today. <clears throat> And she's wanting no part of being outside. Um, she's pissed Sophie off enough that Sophie has turned on her and told her exactly how she felt. And I think she actually went after her. So, tell her. Tell her. My sister is annoying today. She no leave me alone. So I had to tell her to leave me alone and she still wouldn't. So I chase her. Yeah, you chase Molly. Do you not know that Molly can use you like a toothpick? No, baby. You're not scaled. No. So there's that. And then Molly has some fascination with latte. Um, I think it might be latte's reaction to her because latte can't see her coming. Um, so I think that once she gets there and she's just like pawing um, at her, that she reacts. And I think that that's what gets Molly going. So poor thing. I mean, all it wants to do is just lay down, walk around and not be bothered. And that can't happen. Get down. Oh, did you want to go into the bedroom? You want to go in? You do. There you go. Nope, not you. Mm-mm. So, there we go. I've just taken a shower. I've disinfected my room since that's where she was. The space out here was disinfected last night before I went to bed, so it's nice and clean for her, for us. Just made some coffee. Coffee mug of the day. Right there. Dear Santa, I'm sorry for what I said before coffee. Isn't that the truth? Mm. I don't have any, um, what's it called? <clears throat> Syrup. So, just black, just black it is. So, I need to get some breakfast into my system. And... I need to take a couple of tablets of some sort, and then I need to set up Molly's station for today. So I'm, I'm actually going to leave her home. Um, uh, my friend did offer to take her again today. However, I told him that she has the ringworms and I didn't want to expose his dogs to it, even though they are vaccinated. Um, and then also I didn't want her to give him anything. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave her alone for the first time for a long period of time. I do have the same friend coming by uh, a few times to let her out. Um, so she's not cooped up the entire day. So we'll see how that goes. Um, she'll be fine. I know she'll be fine. I'm going to worry about her more than she is. But eventually she calms down and she realizes that's where she has to stay. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so, y'all, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um, as you guys saw, I finally got to, finally got around to wrapping some things. Um, yeah, I got the other uh, pen that I ordered, uh, but I'm not sure where I'm going to use it because I'm not leaving her here. So. I may use that to block off the door on the laundry room so she doesn't climb over her crate again and get out and destroy my house because if she does that and I'm two hours away, there's no point in even coming home because this place will be destroyed. So 
She's getting big, folks. She's getting big. I'm seeing it. She likes to lay down at night right before bed and just belly up and just wants belly rubs. And I can see her like growing. So, yay, I'm happy for that. I've got the lazy man's iron going at the moment, you know, the dryer. So I'll pull that off, pull that out, smooth that out when it's ready to go. But anyway, what are you guys up to today? Are you guys virtually ready for Christmas? Or Sorry, for those of you that celebrate Christmas, of course. I'm not excluding anyone. Whatever it is you celebrate. Are you... Are you in the midst of it? Are you preparing for it? Please stop. No, baby. No, 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 no. Um, <clears throat> I'm ready. Well, I mean, I worked on whatever the menu is gonna be if I decide to do it. And <clears throat> I have a couple of more gifts I need to pick up. And then I have a whole bunch of gift cards I need to pick up this year. So, I'll be doing that. Um, this week, I'm sure I'll end up in some store somewhere so I can get something. I do need to get some groceries so the grocery store has their gift card kiosks. So I mean, just two birds, one stone uh, with that. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say good morning. So good morning. Have some coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Have some coffee. Um, I need to get ready. It's taken me much longer these days to get ready because I now have this one that I need to prepare for and I need to make sure that she's safe and protected and that the other ones are safe and protected from her um she's just a little rough in her play but she doesn't know better so there we go got that and then head out head out and see what the day brings and all of that good stuff so i will see you guys later Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't done that in a long time. How you guys doing? Welcome back to Mr. Peak and Vlogmas Day 15. <clears throat> Which I have combined with Day 14 because someone didn't pick up the camera the rest of the day. And. I uh, was dead tired when I got home last night. I'm sorry, while I talk to you, I was gonna make some coffee. All right, so coffee's going. <clears throat> Dog food out so I can prepare their plates. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I got home last night, maybe nine o'clock. And then I spent the uh, first hour after I got home. I spent that first hour cleaning. So I left Molly <clears throat> here yesterday and I confined her to the laundry room in the pool bathroom. Um, I almost did the same mistake I did the other day where I listen in through the uh, camera. <clears throat> um, after about two minutes of listening to her cry, I turned it off and I'm like, no, you can't do this. So 
yeah, so I did that. I had um, the friend come over twice to let her out, let the um, other ones out as well, but it wasn't, <clears throat> it wasn't good. Um, he said that she was whining and barking when he pulled up and then she was whining and barking when he pulled away. So, unfortunately, I think she's barking and whining and howling all day. So, she doesn't like, it doesn't like being cooped up, does, absolutely doesn't like it. I don't blame her. She clearly has energy she needs to burn. I cannot take her anywhere to go burn it off. Um, <clears throat> I'm almost wondering if I should just put her on the treadmill and have her walk that way, but, <clears throat> but I say that half-heartedly. Oh, you need water. Ugh. Hold on, let me go grab some water. This heater? Alright, that was a chore. Everything is a chore now. Everything. Anyway. Um. Oh, yeah. So, so, I had someone come in and check on her a couple of times. She didn't like it. She was... I had so much to clean. And then I could see... <clears throat> where when I arrived and I opened the door for her to come outside, she just stepped in her mess and then proceeded to just jump all over me. So I was completely covered in mess and, and then I was like literally on my hands and knees scrubbing that floor. Um, she, she peed on everything except for the pee pad. So, all that got washed. Floors got washed. Bed got washed. Crate got cleaned. Um, and then I just disinfected the entire space. So, that's that. I mean, poor girl. She had to go. She had to go. When I did arrive, I didn't see my blinds that are attached to the door the wooden blinds and I'm like oh no she completely well she didn't well I mean kind of one of the blind slats you can tell that she was just going at it so and then she pulled it open um so I fixed that last night except for the chewing marks I can't do anything with that so I guess that's the first thing she's destroyed in my house. But that's okay because I need to take those off. I need to replace that door uh, with a doggy door anyway. So I will make that work. <clears throat> so making their food now. I need coffee. I need coffee. <clears throat> in case you all didn't notice, uh, tis the season. <laughs> Coffee mug of the day. Cracked my phone yesterday. Ooh, ha. My, uh, I was on the phone with my sister yesterday. And she, we were talking. And now was <clears throat> walking to my car from the office. And I had just so much stuff in my hand. I dropped the phone. Well, it went face down, right onto the sidewalk. I pick it up and it just... So. There's that. Uh, and then after cleaning until about 10 o'clock, I took a shower. Then I was gonna 
<clears throat> vlog to close out the day. But the only time I did that, it would have been so late. And I didn't want to ignore the pups. They were locked up all day. Um, especially Molly. So I made sure that we were outside. It was cold last night. But I just bundled up. I made sure that we were out there for a while. She ran around. You know, wasn't satisfied until every single cushion off of this couch out here um, was on the floor. Um, so, yeah, it was um, <clears throat> an eventful evening. Um, she's still insisting on sitting on latte. I don't know what her problem is. I don't know why she thinks that's funny. It's not funny. I mean, poor little girl. I mean, she doesn't see it coming. So all of a sudden, you just got this brute sitting on your head. Like, of course, she's going to flail around. Like, what is going on here? And just... So now every time this one comes anywhere remotely close to her, she already starts barking. Like, please don't sit on me. I can smell you coming. So, I mean... But, you know, you can't tell her that. Just, just mean. <laughs> She's just mean. So, anyway, happy Tuesday, y'all. Um, this is a, this is going to be a two-day vlog because I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, I do have to go back to work today. Uh, into the city. So, I'm going to have to... We were locked up again. And I know people don't really do this and care because it is a dog and stuff, but I'm not like that. You know, I don't have kids. I don't have a family. They are my family, so. And yeah, I'm sure there's people out there like, man, that is ridiculous. They are just dogs and fine, I get it, right? You do you, I'll do me. I love my doggies. Um, and I love them mainly because they give me unconditional love. They're not judgmental and they're innocence. I absolutely adore the innocence of pets. So they don't bug me. Ugh, they don't bug me at all. They actually bring joy to my life. So, there we go. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> what time is it? Yeah, I'm gonna do this quick. So I'm going to feed these dogs and then let's do the advent calendars. We got two days to do. Be right back. So we've got the bagel going. That's what we're gonna do this morning for breakfast. Um, Molly's doing that thing where she's going around, seeing if anyone's left any wet food behind. Alright, so let's do yesterday's, yesterday's what? Oh, I have a calendar. So, number 14 is right there at the North Pole. The North Pole. What's this? You look like maybe a teddy bear. It is a teddy bear with a little bow tie. Look at that. Let me see him. He's so cute. Hold on. Can you see him? He's so cute. Oh, right there. It is way too early for some chocolate. So. Stick him in here. Eat that later. Oh. And now let's do number 15 for today. All right, there. I have to say I've really enjoyed, <clears throat> am enjoying these advent calendars. Get a little treat every day. What are you? What are you? You are, you're a 
drum. Look at that. A little drum. Sorry, I can't see what you're seeing because my my screen is distorting everything. But got that. So <clears throat> number fifteen. There's that one. And then let's do the puppy. I've been calendar. Say hello to Bobby. Hello, Bobby. How are you, buddy? We missed you yesterday. Yeah, we did. All right, number 14. Right here. Yeah. And these are what we got this time. Black round disc. You can't see that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Actually, let me see. I'm too lazy to walk around the counter. I'm trying to use the wrapping paper to turn on the light. Wrong one. There we go. Alright, so let me see if you can see these better now. So here's the teddy bear. Yeah. Teddy bear with a little bow tie. And this is. The drum. Look at that, so cute. So, got those. And then this is what we got for yesterday. For the doggies. Not there. So this, for yesterday, was, is, a beef burger with kelp. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy that one. Uh, now number 15, over right here, and this one, you know what, these are good until 22, I'm going to go back, if they have any more, I'm already going to pick them up for next year, I really like this, this was a good, that was fun, it is fun. So it's these little discs, which by the way, are great for training her. Um, she's, she's getting sit. She's understanding that, so that's good. Um, these are chicken jerky with quinoa and ginger. Okay. All right, so that was 15? Did I do 15? Oh, that was 15. So, those are the Evan calendars. Got those done. I mean, this vlogmas is all about puppies and Evan calendars. But I do want to show you guys something that was given to me yesterday. Let me go put this away and bring the other thing out. Alright, so... Um, I was, or I received a package yesterday, and it was from a client. Um, when I do something for someone, I tend to go overboard. I always tend to do a little more than what was required, just to, I mean, if I can do it, why not, right? Well... They took notice of the last thing um, I did for them. And they're all about dogs and animals and, and stuff. So, and they know that I got Molly because I took her to work, uh, to work one day and they happened to um, they happened to see her that day. So, they were really, really kind. And the ball that she left in my office. Um, they were really kind and they sent a box to my office from Chewy. And I was just like, oh, what's this? So I opened it up. 
they have given Molly and Sophie some toys and they are so adorable. I wanna show you guys. So first, and um, they said that they did this one um, <clears throat> for comedic reasons because they know I don't like seafood. So they wanted to make sure that my dog had some seafood to play with. So it's this lobster. And this is like heavy duty. It's for uh, chewers. World's toughest soft dog toy. So there's seven rows of stitching, three layers of material. There's protective webbing and squeaker safety pocket. So I didn't know there was a squeaker. Oh, there's a squeaker. So, we got that. So cute. And I mean, you can tell that they're just, I mean, just look at the, the edging on that. I mean, that's, she'll destroy it. It doesn't matter, she'll destroy it. Um, then they gave her this Kong Wubba. So it's a chew and tug toy. So, that and it's by Kong. Be playing with her with that. And then these are zippy paws. Skinny pa uh, pelts three pack. So there's that. Um, let's open that up. Oh, they're cute. And I was gonna give these to Sophie. Look at that. And there's that little guy right there. I'm sorry, those are my toys, the uh, toes toys. Can you go play with that ball somewhere else, baby? Can you go play somewhere else, please? Please? Because you mistake my toes for the ball and that's not good. <laughs> so here's that guy right there, so cute. So he's got like big tail. And then there's three squeakers. One there, one there, and one at the end of the tail. So there's that guy. There's that guy. So cute. And there's that guy. So you go to Sophie. Be giving those to Sophie's. And then this, I know that the, um, their dogs have this and I've watched them play with it and I thought it was so neat. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to get one and I just completely forgot, like I never got around to it. So they sent it, so cute. And it is called by Outward Hound. They're saying is raise the wolf. That is cute. A uh, hide a squirrel. It stimulates mental play with squeaky vines. Uh, and they are boredom busters. So I'm gonna try that today while she's locked up. But look at that. It's a log. I mean, it's plush, but it's a log with different holes in it. And then, so here, you get these guys to put in it and you just stick them in the little holes and let them figure it out have her pull those out where are my scissors i just had scissors <clears throat> so let's see what these guys are all about oh my god so cute Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Look at that tail. Look at that. So this can this one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six of them. So there's six of these little guys, and they go in here. So you know, like that. So you just stick them. What squeaked? 
their squeakers. So here we go. And then she just pulls them out, gives her something to do. So that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Do you guys hear? Do you guys hear that? I do not know how heavy your paws are. Your paws are heavy, baby. You don't know that, huh? You don't know your paws are heavy. And then this is also by Outward Hound. And it's Dog Twister Unlock, Slide, and Treat. And it's Find Hidden Treats. Exercise your dog's mind, reduce boredom and destructive behavior. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Strengthen the bond with your dog. Skill level three, advanced. And that's what it is, right there. So pull, pull handles out to unlock position to slide paw panels, place treats and kibble. So how do they get it up? To seek treats. Mm, there we go. So I want to try that with her. So we'll see how that, that goes. So I thought this was really, really nice of them. So yeah, I was going to <clears throat> just wrap them all and put them under the tree, but She's already got enough of that, so. There's the, uh, got those things. Puppy Christmas. Puppy Christmas. And then I've ordered um, her first ornament, um, which is the same one Sophie got last year. Uh, which was given to her last year. It just has her name on it. As soon as those come in, I'll show you. So she gets her first ornament for her tree. That'd be fun. Excuse me, baby, I have to put this over here. I have to hide it from you. Otherwise, you destroy everything, baby. So there we go. Well, that's our morning. Uh, I do have to go to the city today. Not looking forward to it. Oh, uh, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning, so we all have those days. Um, <clears throat> and then I did, uh, there were a couple of tr uh, light displays um, that I noticed yesterday, and I stopped and I took pictures of the two. I really liked how they did these trees in front of a house. Um, I'll post that picture here. And then um, just down the block a little bit, there's a house under construction and they have scaffolding up and then they put the netting around the scaffolding so you don't see, you know, the scaffolding. Well, this construction crew with lights um, made the outline of a tree and a star on top. So, here's that. And I thought those were cool, so I just had to take a picture of them. Um, they're on the way out of the city yesterday. I did notice a couple of more uh, displays, but I really just wanted to get home, so... She wasn't locked up as long, uh, even though she did have the breaks during the day where she was let out, but I just wanted to make it home. So I'll probably catch more of those today. Um, I say that and I'll probably just completely forget. So there's that. So yeah, that's it for now. I have to go get ready for the office. I will see you guys later. By the way, I hope you're all doing well.